welcome home nine months in the making. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams are officially back on U.S. soil. The SpaceX Dragon capsule carrying the duo splashing down off the coast of Florida just a few hours ago. The National News Desk, Jeff Harris, joining us. And I feel like a lot of people were just crossing your fingers that this day would actually happen, Jeff. So happy to see they return safely. What comes next? Could this uh, prompt any changes? So I spoke with an aerospace expert in Florida earlier tonight, Didi, and he says nine months in space will absolutely take a mental, also physical toll on your body. So the two will likely need some time here to recover. But he also says NASA will likely start reviewing this unusual mission. From an eight day mission into a nine month marathon, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams are finally back home. And splash down crew nine back on Earth. <laughs> The crew splashing down off the coast of Florida Tuesday night. Cameras capturing the moment they exited their SpaceX Crew 9 capsule. Smiles beaming from ear to ear, both waving in excitement. Don Platt, an aerospace expert, tells us Wilmore and Williams were selected for the first crewed flight test of Boeing's Starliner capsule in June of last year. But due to several issues, they couldn't return home. So they made a, a decision based on safety to uh, keep the, the two crew members up there. So their one week mission turned into 286 days. NASA landing the Starliner without them on board. President Trump stressing urgency to get them home. The two were reassigned to SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Finally, a SpaceX capsule that they could uh, send up and uh, return them back to home uh, safely. Now, Platt says being in space, especially for nine months, takes a major mental and physical toll on your body. So the two will need some time to recover. Cause some degradation to your bone, to your muscle and uh, many other systems really in your body. He also believes NASA will review this mission and what went wrong to help minimize the chances of future problems. This maybe shows us that we need to go back to really making sure that things are ready to go and, and tested. Now, as we mentioned, Williams and Wilmore spent 286 total days in orbit, 285 on board the ISS, but they also orbited around Earth 4,576 times, also traveling 121 million miles while in space. Reporting for the National News Desk, I'm Jeff Harris. What a journey.